Hello, this is future editing Amy, just jumping in here before the vlog starts with a quick apology. I realised as I was editing this vlog that some of the footage is really shaky, which definitely wasn't my intention. That's down to a whole host of things. Sometimes the lighting wasn't great and I forgot to use my tripod. I'm using a pretty cheap phone. And the biggest one right now is that due to some health issues over the last 18 months, I've gone from having very steady hands to having quite shaky hands. And to be honest, until I looked at some of this footage, I didn't realise how badly that was affecting my filming. But the clips are filmed now and I can't fix them, so I just wanted to apologise in advance. So apologies for that. I will remember to be more prepared in future videos, but for now, on with the vlog. It is Saturday the 19th of October. I haven't vlogged for about a month. I've kept meaning to make writing vlogs recently and it just hasn't happened for a whole host of reasons. I talked about some of those more in my last video, which was a writing life update. So I'm not going to go into huge amounts of detail about what I'm writing at the moment because it's all in that other video. I don't need to repeat myself. Right now, I am just having a sit down with my cup of tea, which as you can see is in a very fetching and stylish builder's mug. I'm just working on my Chronicles of Terrier chapter for this week. It's the end of the second part, so it's turning into quite a long one. I've written about 600 words today, probably about 500 yesterday. I think there might be as much as another thousand to go. That is due by the end of tomorrow, so I do really need to get a move on, but I'm just having a bit of a break. The last few weeks have been a little bit rocky writing-wise, which is one of the reasons I haven't vlogged. I haven't always had a lot of energy. And yes, I have been splitting that energy between a couple of projects, but I felt like I really needed to do that to keep myself motivated. I'm definitely feeling a lot better at the moment though. The writing is in general going fairly well. I wouldn't say I'm making loads and loads of progress, but I'm not doing too badly. I've also been reading a lot more, which has been really nice because to be honest, I haven't read a lot over the summer. I think I'm going to do a separate vlog of kind of creepy autumn reads that I'm going to be picking out over the next couple of weeks. But for now, I am just plugging away at this Chronicles of Terrier chapter. Next week, I am going to be working on editing and drafting my urban fantasy again. I'll talk more about those next week. And I am going to keep this vlog running for a week or so. I know a lot of people are gearing up for NaNoWriMo at the moment. I am not doing NaNo as I talked about in that last video. I am wondering if I should set myself some kind of writing challenge though, because I do really like the buzz of NaNoWriMo. It just doesn't particularly fit in with my writing schedule at the moment. So I'm thinking it might be quite fun to try and finish the first draft of the urban fantasy in November. That is kind of ambitious given the speed it's going at the moment and the fact that I'm still editing Cybernation, but we'll see. I've got another week or two to make that decision. I'm not sure how long there is left in October, honestly. But yes, lots going on, even more to still get done. I will take you along for the journey and keep you updated. It's Sunday evening and I'm just sitting down to do some writing. I'm also looking kind of green because of the glare off my PC, so let's move around a little bit. Anyway, I have already done some work today. I finished up that Chronicles of Terrier chapter. I wrote something like 1400 words yesterday and finished the first draft. So today was editing it and cleaning it up and then uploading it for our editor to have a look at. So that is all sorted. And then because I felt I'd made pretty good progress on my main writing projects this week, I decided to just play around with something different. This is something I often do on a Sunday because it just feels like a good time to take a break. So today I looked back at some old fantasy projects that I haven't touched in a while. Well, I say old, I think none of them are older than a couple of years. And I definitely have stories going back much further than that. But they're not things I'm currently actively working on. 
Today though I wanted to have another look at them because I have been thinking a lot about which fantasy projects I want to work on next. They're kind of always in the back of my mind when I'm working on other genres. So there was one that I've mentioned once or twice before. It's an as yet unnamed epic fantasy series. I think it's going to have five books. I did say in a previous vlog months ago that I I think the entire thing might eventually come to over a million words, which is very intimidating. I had a look at the outline for that, but I didn't really feel like working on that one at the moment. I think that might be something I'm going to get to next year. Today, instead, I read through the first chapter and a half of a book I started writing in NaNoWriMo 2017. Now that year's NaNoWriMo was a disaster for me. I had one project in mind, I wrote it for about a week and a half and then kind of got bored for no real reason. I then started something else which was utterly dire, failed to work on that for about a week and then jumped to this other project and wrote about six, seven thousand words which was a chapter and a half of this epic fantasy. I read through it again today though and I was really quite impressed. It's not bad at all. I have quite a firm idea for where this trilogy is going to go and particularly the first book. What I did find though is that my outline is really sketchy. I have definitely refined my outlining technique a huge amount since 2017. So what I want to do now is go back to that outline and try and improve it and actually make it more of a workable document. So I think that is my plan for tonight. It is Wednesday afternoon. I haven't vlogged for a few days and to be honest, I haven't written much in that time either. Life has just got on top of me a bit. I feel like I am slowly getting back up to speed today. I did some work on the urban fantasy this morning. I've written something like six or 700 words of that. I wrote about 700 yesterday as well. At the moment, I don't really have any daily word count goal for that. I just do however much I can do, just what I can fit in. I am trying to edit for 20 minutes every day though. I managed that on Monday night, then last night I was just too exhausted. I did about 10 minutes and then just gave up. But I do actually have some spare time this afternoon, which makes a change. So the editing is what I'm working on. I'm not exactly doing the Pomodoro technique because I find 25 minutes is a little bit long for a sprint for me, but I started off with 10 minutes of work, taking a break to film this, and next I'm going to move on to 20 minutes or something like that. If I could manage two more of those this afternoon, I would get really nicely ahead for this week, which would be really useful because I'm not going to be at home tomorrow. This week has very much been an experiment in how much writing can I fit in around everything else in my life when things are a bit chaotic and up in the air. We are making some really big life changes at the moment and that is taking its toll on my productivity. I often want to be writing but the time is just not there. Alternatively, I have the time but no energy. So when I've got a bit of both, I'm definitely trying to make the most of it, like this afternoon. But the work is very, very slow. I don't know what chapter I said I was on with Cybernation when I started this vlog. Now I'm about halfway through chapter nine. So to be honest, managing even a chapter a week is progress at the moment, but it's much slower than I would like. And this is why I'm not going to be able to do NaNoWriMo this year because I've just got too many other unfinished things. There is no way Cybernation is going to be finished probably even this year if I don't pick up the pace a bit. I'm going to try to. I really do want to get this book done. I'm going to try and work on it as much as possible over the next few weeks. But the editing process for this one is particularly painstaking. I think it's just because I haven't written a lot of science fiction over the last few years. So there are a lot of things in this that I really need to think about and to get right. So very, very slow progress, but it is progress. And that's all I can ask for at the moment. Let's see how I get on with these next couple of sprints.
I think the most frustrating thing about editing is the way making even one quite minor change kind of cascades out through the rest of the book. I said I was halfway through chapter nine. I was supposed to be working on the second scene in that chapter. And in the last 20 minutes, I've not even touched it. To answer my next edit note, all of which I have in a huge document in bullet points, I actually had to jump back and forth throughout the book. I didn't touch anything at all in chapter 9, but I changed stuff halfway through the book and at the end of the book just to answer that one little question. This is such a long and drawn out process. This is why it takes me so long. I'm constantly asking myself questions about why the characters are acting the way they are and how the plot fits together and why different events either have repercussions or don't have repercussions. But the way to answer those is often not in the chapter where the event takes place. I have to jump further ahead in the book. Very slow and time consuming work. And this is why in the clips of me working on this edit, there's probably a lot of me sitting, staring into space, head propped on my hand, just looking at my screen because I'm thinking about how to fix things. And to be honest, that takes more time than actually doing the fixes. But that is all part of the editing process and I can't do much about it. That was another 20 minutes down though. I'm really pleased with the work I've just done. It did fix quite a major query and one that really wanted looking at. So now it's on to the next one. Also because the writing is going really well today, my reward for this evening is to finally update and play more of the Elder Scrolls Online. It is now Friday morning. Things have been really hectic for the last couple of days. We weren't at home yesterday, so I didn't really expect to get any writing done, and I ended up surprising myself. I did a bit of writing before we went out, and I did a bit more in the evening, and it came to 1300 words, which is the biggest daily word count I've had in a couple of weeks, so that actually worked out really well. So this morning I have been back to editing. I managed to get about 40 minutes in this morning, and I'm now into chapter 10. I realise it feels like I'm just not getting anywhere with this edit. I started the vlog in chapter 9, I'm only now in chapter 10, and there are 29 chapters. But I am happy with the progress I'm making, and I'm very happy with the book itself. I've definitely noticed in the last couple of chapters or so that I'd really hit my stride with the first draft here. This is the point where things started to come together and were a bit more coherent. I'd got a better handle on how I was describing things, people, places and technology and that's meant there have been far fewer inconsistencies to clear up. I don't know that that is necessarily making the edit to go any faster but it might do. I definitely felt like I got into my stride this morning. I am still not setting any deadline or goal for this book though, it will just take as long as it takes. But I still love this book, I have been thinking about the sequels, which I'm definitely not going to be writing this year, but maybe next year. And I'm pretty pleased with how it's all going. Right now, honestly, life is so chaotic that I cannot ask for any more than that. It is Sunday afternoon. Sundays are always a really busy work day for me, so I haven't written anything today and I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to. Tonight we're doing our D&D session so I won't have any time then, but I've also hit a bit of a snag with one of my projects. I've been drafting this urban fantasy and I've reached the 23,000 word mark. I felt things were going pretty well and I was barreling towards the halfway point and then I had a bit of a realisation. I've carefully done this entire outline for the book and I'm pretty pleased with it. I think most of it holds together. But I've got an awful lot of plot in what's a relatively short book. And it's essentially got three antagonists. One is borderline, I don't know if you'd count him, but there's two definite antagonists. And I realised last night that the character that I thought of as the main antagonist, who was there from the very beginning has really not appeared very much in the first half of the book. So I'm kind of annoyed with myself about that. I'm not sure why I didn't see it sooner. 
and I'm not entirely sure what to do next. I don't know whether to go back and try and put her more into the first half of the book, but I feel at this point that that would really be shoehorning her in because there isn't really space for her to appear in what I've already written. The alternative is to put off what I planned for the midpoint and add some extra chapters in before the middle of the book. This is probably my preferred answer at the moment. There are a lot of characters and there is a lot of plot in this book and I think I could probably do with a bit more space to develop everything. But that does mean that the outline I've got so far doesn't entirely work and I need to go back and tweak it a bit. But to be honest, I don't really want to do that today. I really feel like I need some time to think about this book and work out where it's going next. So I'm going to put that off until next week and look at it again with fresh eyes. So in the meantime, I'm still editing Cybernation. I've done nearly two hours of work on that this week, which was my target, so I'm very happy with that. But I'm kind of wondering where to go from here. One of the other things I've been working on this week was an outline for an epic fantasy book. I think I talked about this earlier in the vlog. It was one I started writing in NaNoWriMo 2017. I only wrote the first chapter and a half then, but I really like what I've got. I like the very vague outline that I came up with back then. And I spent an hour yesterday adding more to the outline, writing down some world building notes, and really pulling everything together. And I'm so happy with it that I'm wondering if this should be the next thing I start working on. I'm considering taking an entire week away from the urban fantasy to give myself time to think about it and working on this epic fantasy for a week. That's probably the sensible thing to do, but NaNoWriMo is coming up. Now I said in a previous video that I was not going to do NaNoWriMo this year and I am still holding to that. I really have just not got time to write 50,000 words in November and I know the idea is to push yourself and try and fit that work into your existing schedule but my writing time really is largely being taken up by editing at the moment and I want to continue with that because Cybernation has to be my priority right now simply because it's the closest thing to being finished. So I don't want to take on drafting an entire book in November, it just does not fit in. There's so much buzz and enthusiasm about NaNoWriMo and I'm wondering if there's anything I can do to take part in that. What I'm considering at the moment is setting myself a much smaller target for drafting in November. Maybe 20, 25,000 words, something like that. The problem is right now that I don't even know which project that should be on. Do I try and fix the urban fantasy and go back to that? Or do I go where inspiration is leading me and work on this epic fantasy? I haven't yet decided, quite honestly, I don't know what to do. I know that the sensible answer is to just get things finished and that means working on the urban fantasy because I'm very close to halfway done with that draft. But there's the sensible thing and then there's the thing I'm most excited about and that is not the urban fantasy. So I'm feeling very torn right now. And on that rather inconclusive note, I am going to wrap up this vlog. Overall this week, I have written about three and a half thousand words on the urban fantasy, spent two hours editing Cybernation, and also spent an hour working on this epic fantasy outline. I'm calling that a success for a very busy week, and I'm really looking forward to making more progress next week. I do not know what I'm going to be doing for NaNoWriMo, if anything, but I will pick that back up in another vlog. So I hope your writing is going well. I hope you're excited for NaNoWriMo if you're taking part or just general November writing. I will keep you updated on what I eventually decide to do, assuming I come to a decision. In the meantime, keep writing everyone and I'll see you next time.